What's good, Pop YouTube family? We betting our reaction video. We got Jacob through with the YNs of anime. You know what it is. The young niggas. The crash out dum dums is what I like to call them. The crash out idiots. The tweakers always is what I like to call them. I saw Kid Boo on the and Kid Gar on there. For sure are definitely front runners of that. But we're gonna get into more of that when he talk about it. So with that being said, his channel is gonna be linked down below along the reason the video. Make sure you go show him some love. Hit the sub button, all that good stuff. Y'all know Blase Blase, all the good stuff. You know we gotta hit the lights. Boom, it almost fell out of my chair too, but y'all will never see that because I'm too smooth, my nigga. And you know we gotta make it full screen. <sighs> this is gonna be stupid. All right, no, it is. Hold on. Now this is Krillin, and the reason he's damn. Let's start off with Krillin getting rocked. Wrong young, and you gonna see a lot more of this in today's video. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Now, I don't know if y'all been seeing, but the term YN has been going crazy on social media. And you know what? Literally, sure. means young. But yeah, now it's just used to describe anybody who's in thug or shysty activity. And seeing all this yeah. YN post, it really made me think, what anime characters demonstrate this YN activity, bro? And today, that's what we finna talk about. Said, and I got some characters we gonna put on trial, and I got scenes to talk about. And then after that, we gonna rank them from bronze to Hall of Fame YN badge. Mm. Now starting off, we got a generational prospect, and I'm talking about the emo Sandman himself, Gara. Now there's so sure because he didn't like to just hurt people, but he liked to he hurt, hurt everybody. Right? Like I'm telling you, I was convinced this man was possessed by King Bond the first half of the show. Cause that's how crazy yeah. he was moving, bruh. Now for the first moment of review, we got the Rock Lee murder attempt. Now if you've seen Naruto, yep. you know Gara ended up winning his tournament fight against Rock Lee, right? And he might have tried to murk Rock Lee in the process, but that's besides the point. Cause this didn't end up happening cause my guy stepped in and saved the day. And Two attempted remind, murders. Like I said earlier, Gara was a generational YN and Rock Lee was registered as one of his ops. So he decided to slide on this man while he was in the hospital. And on top you of that, this man Rock Lee was unconscious, bro. Like bro was standing bedside ready to finish the job. Sand wrapped around my mans. And Luckily, Naruto and Shikamaru were there to barely stop this man because he was tweaking out, dog. How you gonna kill someone when they literally downed like Fortnite? I'm telling y'all, this is a different level of shysty. And this wasn't the Look first time they saw this YN in action because they witnessed Gar kill two people in front of him for the third party. Don't try to run. He said, Naruto would have had him sent back to his village. Now, for the Look last one review, we got the Make It Rain scene. And so Gar and his crew were posted up against these rain ninjas, and they were old as frick. I'm not gonna lie. So, no wonder they couldn't tell Gar was one of them YNs. And off rip, mm. old dude was like, hey, y'all ran into the wrong crew. All y'all getting murked. And Gar looked at nope. that man with killer intent and said, nah, I'm murking everybody I run into. So old dude activated some raining needle moves. And it did nothing Don't know why he would do Gar that. even more heated. And then Gar said something scary. Raining needles? I'm finna make it rain blood, little time. So yeah, Gar proceeded to trap bro in his hand caught the meat. And that already sounded like some devious. And it was as suspected because as Gar squeezed his hand, it actually <sighs> squeezed the blood out of bro, making it rain on him. And Gar was just disrespectfully posted up with an umbrella already. He knew what was gonna happen. His don't umbrella. Think he forgot about the other two. He packed them up also, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this is all the evidence I need to see that Gar deserves a Hall of Fame YN. For bro. sure. Peak peak. Actually, I'm gonna make y'all mad. He I'm swapping it out for a gold. I'm sorry, he turned from his YN ways very soon after this, bro. We only got so many Hall of Fame badges to give out. Now, if I'm gonna talk about true YN. I can't be mad at that, though. I, know I can't be mad at that. Young, but Blackbeard, come on, bro. Now, since the beginning of One Piece, he's been one of the shystiest people in the show. Like, he slides on people. Blackbeard might be gold. And catches bodies. And we got one scene in particular to review. So, for some context of this scene, Blackbeard got going to go. War, and everybody was getting active to the point this man Whitebeard was on his last leg. And you know, the oldest YN Blackbeard decided this was the perfect <laughs> the moment to steal his YN. powers and catch a body in the process. So Blackbeard pulled up talking absolutely crazy to this half living old man and proceeded to piece the frick out of him, bro. Mind you, like I said, he was talking crazy the whole time. He like, yeah, old nigga. We done with the 90s. So one way or another, Whitebeard activated his old man strength and got active mm -hmm. in his final Look place. at him. And he had bro pinned down, no diddy. And he straight no up diddy. full force ground pounded this man like Wreck-It Ralph. And things was looking Literally. rough because Whitebeard was, was on pissed. ice to the point bro turned red. It looked like he was gear too. But like I told y'all, mm -hmm. Blackbeard was just the old YN because before Whitebeard got the finishing punch off, he upped the pole on this man and popped him. Like you can't make this up, bro. He resulted to his gun. And not only that, but to. immediately after he called for his whole crew start done. 
something. with them, bro. And they didn't just lie, bro. They got active. They are blick swords. They was doing everything in their power to make sure he was dead. And you know this is one of the most shisty moments of One Piece. Because look at everybody's faces while this is happening to their pops. And if that wasn't enough, Blackbeard was literally laughing, bro. Like, this man needs to be sent to the He just killed his dad. For the way he moved. Quote, and after Whitebeard was gone for the count, he did a whole presentation demonstration showing how he just hit a lick on his power. Catching even more bodies in the process. And this is all the review I need to see. Blackbeard's one of them OANs, bro. He's not a young, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Hall of Fame, bro. Hall of Fame. Nah, something. he got going to go. Now, Dragon Ball has a lot of YN prospects. But I feel it's only right that we talk about the king of YNs. And that would be Kid Boo. Or I'm going to mm -hmm. say YN Boo. And the first Legendary badge. The Heavenly Fade. So leading up to said fade, Majin Boo ended up transforming into this little kid form. And Vegeta and Goku thought this was going to be sweet. But Supreme Kai was they stressing. Because apparently this Tweet. is the Tweet. ultimate YN form. Where Boo gives zero fricks. Now one way or another, Vegeta was like, Hey gang, if you going to blow up the planet, run the fade first. But Kid Buu won't listen to you. He just turned in their direction and hissed like a cat. And like I said, he had no regard for life. So he charged up this devious blast. Like Goku was literally trying to plead with this man. But he just mm -hmm. smiled. <laughs> And as you could have guessed, Wyan Boo ended up throwing the blast, but luckily Goku and Vegeta escaped. So now that Wyan Boo was bored because Vegeta and Goku were gone, he started going to random planets and blowing them up, bro. Apparently mm -hmm. looking for Goku in them. And this is where it gets crazy, because somehow Boo ended up making his way to DBZ heaven just for some smoke, just to run some fades. So Boo walks over to everybody, sizing them up. And then this fake Piccolo and Thor clone walk over and try to sun him. Like they was patting him on the head and mess, not knowing yep. this is Wyan Boo. And got I guess dog the for Because then Boo cracked his neck and started screaming like a crackhead. Straight up destroyed destroying the surrounding area and everybody there wasn't trying to let that slide so they try to jump this man boo but when i tell you boo started violating everybody it was straight up everybody. No this man krillin weak so tried to hit him with a destructo disc then just got bounced around like a toy like krillin know he ain't no cop for ym boo he's in a different league after violating man. everybody ym boo decided he was gonna blow up this planet too but luckily they got saved because goku and vegeta charged up to lure boo in but really think about this kid boo slid to heaven or wherever they were Size and fought everybody all dead up. people just to pack him up again <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. sorry, YM Boo was different, and the amount of bodies he, he gotta was be legendary. Like, I told y'all, no regard for human life. And you know, I'm not even gonna talk about how bad he did Vegeta, bro, because this was a different type of beatdown. We gonna go ahead and give YM Boo his Hall of Fame. He gotta be legendary. Bad. Forgot about one of my favorite YNs, that of which being Gidua Zoldic. Now, considering Gidua is already an assassin, he's about that life, bro. And it's the fact that he's always on go, ready to. He catch gotta be body. gold. It just makes it even high gold. For example, though, like we got this iconic moment Hall during the Hunter exam. So it was my boy's turn to finally go against somebody, and then this buff serial killer dude stepped out and killer was like hey bro what's the word so serial killer folks went into this whole spill about how many people he's killed how many lives he's taken and killer was mm -hmm. just standing there unfazed and so finally killer was just like hey so the loser's the one who dies right and bro agrees and that and was all the like Kido them. needed because right after bro finished his sentence Kido was phased by this man and took his heart out bro and when serial killer bro peeped his heart was gone he looked back like hey give me my heart back and my boy just showed it to him smiling like he didn't commit the most egregious act of the show so far but hey technically Kido did give him his heart back he just wasn't mm -hmm. alive to really notice and this is when i knew he was one of them and you know another moment i want to mention is when he ran the ops out the city and so this was during the heavens arena tournament arc and these oh my god yeah he did them so out. dirty and they ended up threatening to do something to their little homie to make go and fight on a certain day but dog when killua found out about this he was heated and the day killua was supposed to fight bro he pulled up on him in his suite and he told this man to never step foot in his city again bro and do listen because he wasn't trying to lose his life like killua got a free dub that day and this is one of them attributes i'm talking about that killua has bro that's Hey, bro, melted. Young intimidation. <laughs> Somebody need to get my boy a shiesty mask ASAP. And you know, I'm going to rank Silver. Let's debate about it. Now, the last character I'm going to talk about is I'm not mad at Silver either. Saga, it's a show about Vikings and I'm stuff. Like, he's either a gold. Gold. Yeah. Like, he's a high gold or video, like, like bare minimal high silver. silver. I'm not mad at it. Bro. But the thing is, he wasn't always like that. He had some traumatic events that shaped his life in a shiesty way. And so, Thorfinn was literally a killing machine as a child. Like, he was taking on multiple grown men at once by himself. But his true end goal was to get back for his pop. And literally the person he was trying to get back at was the leader of his crew. And my boy was always trying to run the ones. And it got to a point where Askeladd, the leader, would 1v1 Thorfinn if he did a favor for him. Which leads me to the moment I want to talk about. So their squad was just chilling outside of enemy territory. And Askeladd was like, Thorfinn, I need you to do me a favor and merc Thorkel, who was the super soldier of a Viking. And as expected, Thorfinn was like, only if you run my fate. And Askeladd agreed, of course. So as everybody was mm -hmm. going into battle, Thorfinn was on top of the ship and he was in that mode. And when they finally got close enough, Thorfinn jumps right at Thorkel and they start and getting the and well, immediately no talking, just smoke like a true YN. So Thorko tells his crew to let them run the ones and he tries to murder Thorfinn with a punch. But Thorfinn been about this life, so he dodges that and cuts bro's wrist. And after seeing Thorfinn was no joke, Thorko starts mm -hmm. spamming X because he's trying to have fun with bro.
bro. But Thorfinn is on a mission, y'all. And he ended up hitting Thorkel with a smooth combo. And he thought he had a finisher. But this walking block of protein just catches the blade through his hand. And he starts throwing Thorfinn around like a rag doll, bro. And then Thor, the rest of like, Thorfinn's crew ends up. Nah, this fame was crazy, this though. Just hanging there. And Thorkel trying to see if man's still alive. But Thorfinn got them hood tendencies and sneaks this man, cutting off two of his fingers. This made Thorkel respect that he ran his ones like a G. And he let him escape, solidifying that he was one of the coldest YNs. And considering Thorfinn Raider, look at him. He did not care. Incentives and all. I'm gonna give him a gold YN badge. And you know he will get that Hall of Fame, but he not up in his blades for no reason. He not just ignorant. Hey man, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video though, for real. Um, nah, he, he got points. For real surprise, subscribe, bro. Press that button. I don't know why I'm using this mic right now. You know what I'm saying? RJ in the back. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Bye, Bell. God bless y'all, bro. Just tap in with more videos or something, man. Stay tuned. We out. Y'all gonna do that? I fuck with bro. Nice. I'm not I'm not mad at where he plays nobody. I had a problem with uh Blackbeard. I had a problem with Teach being there, but then I thought about it in my head. No, nah, Teach. Teach Hall of Fame. Teach Hall of Fame. Teach for sure Hall of Fame. Teach oh shit. Uh, Teach is definitely Hall of Fame. Teach Hall of Fame for sure. Um, Killing him is probably the only one I would probably move up to gold. But he's on kind of the same thing as Gara. He kind of got soft a little bit. He got kind of soft. So I can, I'm not mad at him being silver, but I would move him to gold. That's just me. But the, the heart moment shit, dog, I, it always cracked me up. Cause we always talk about like how he like he did it right. Do 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 do. It's the bump. It's the part after that when we start talking to his friends. It was like he started talking to the gang. He was like yeah. He said that's. He said yeah. He said that was nothing too. He said really my dad would have did it. It would have been no blood. Like you know how the blood was on the bottom of the heart. He was like yeah. It would have been no blood there. Don't talk about that so casually. <laughs> Nah, I fuck with this though. I all the ratings I'm not mad at. But uh Ted Boo should have been legendary. No, we got that on 25. That's legendary. He should have been legendary. Cause he was tweet fresh off the wake up, tried to blow the earth up. They tried, like you said, they tried to plead with him. He said, they shut the fuck up. Boo. <laughs> hey, but my boy Ted to go be linked down below. The longer is in the video. Make sure you go show him some love. Hit the sub button, all the good stuff, and I'm catching y'all in the next one. Peace.